but maybe that's not you. And, and maybe I've already lost a few of the attendees who have passed out with even the needle demonstration. It's okay too. That just means that we haven't found the right solution for you. And with that in mind, let's talk about what a penile implant looks like as a, as a, as a demonstration. So I have a model that I'm gonna bring in again, and we're gonna pan back down to this model. And so you've imagined yourself have gone through the procedure the procedure itself takes about 35 to 45 minutes to an hour, depending on who your surgeon is and, and their technique. And this is going to be a demonstration. That's perfect. We'll get this out of the way. And you've healed up, and the healing process can take anywhere from a couple weeks to even up to a month uh, before you're fully healed, your incision's healed, and your surgeon clears you for intercourse. So typically in my practice, what happens is you undergo the procedure. You come back in a couple weeks. Sometimes I'll, I will leave in stitches over the incision site if I'm concerned about your healing process. For example, you have diabetes, history of pelvic radiation, if you have anything where your immune system is compromised, but you're still a very suitable candidate for the implant, then I'll typically put a row of stitches in to make sure I give your skin the best chance for those ends to heal up. So, so in two weeks, you come back and we take a look at you. And if things are looking pretty good, then we can think about activation. It's optimistic. Most men, really between three and four is when we were able to start activating them so that they could start having intercourse. And so you walk into the office and, and here's how things look. You, you have a flaccid uh, penis because your implant is deactivated. And as you can tell in this model, the incisions healed. I'll kind of go this way. And now we're going to just sort of turn it. And here is the implant fully in place and flaccid. Now, this model has two testicles, just as most of us men do. And most implanters will place the, the pump right between the two testicles. And as I, you can see, you're not, you really don't see where that, that uh, pump is, which is good. It's discreet so that you don't have to let anybody know you have a penile implant in if they're casually looking at you. But it's there. And if you really, really tighten up the scrotum and we push it forward, I'm not sure how well that shows up on camera, but here it is right here. And it's smaller than a testicle. It's about maybe about the size of my thumb. This is it. This is all you need to think about when it's time to actually engage in intercourse and inflating your, your, your prosthesis. So in this model, the reservoir is sitting right up here in this little canister. But this is essentially bladder level in you. And so now we're going to get to it. So some men are, will be able to do this one-handed very facilely. But for the most part, it takes a little time. And so typically what I do when I'm training guys is I'll have them stabilize the top of that pump with their non-dominant hand. As you can see, I'm left-handed here. Uh, and that'll help keep that pump from squishing around in the scrotum. So it's anchored, you're holding up here, and then you just inflate and you'll feel a little give. And sometimes you can even hear it and that valve will pop into the right place. And as you can see now, we're gonna go this way we're starting to develop what looks like an erection suitable for penetration. And it takes, everybody says, well, doc, how many pumps does it take? And it really just depends on the cylinder size we put in. And of course, we're always gonna to try to maximize cylinder size to, size to fit the patient's individual anatomy. But some men, it can take a few pumps. Some, it can take a little bit longer. And you can see I'm still going. Now, once it's pretty maximally inflated, you'll feel resistance down here. So I'm pushing pretty hard to get those last few pumps in. But you can see now we have an implant that's, that's fully erect. And if I push on it as if having intercourse, you can see it's pretty durable. Now, some of the things people say is, well, will it be as hard as my erections used to be? One of the issues I have with that is, you may not remember how hard your erections used to be because it's been so long since you've had a good one. So I don't try to answer that question, but rather say it will be hard enough that you should be able to have penetrative intercourse. With that in mind, that's what this does. And so there's still a little bit of give, but for the most part, this is a rigid erection that allows for, for resuming penetrative intercourse. When you and your partner are satisfied and you want to release, the valve that releases it is just a little button. Again, it doesn't really show up well, but I'm gonna turn here again. We're gonna kind of push the penis out of the way. And if I really push it up, there's just this little indentation here. And that is the release valve. And all you gotta do is push it and you'll feel it whirring away in there. And it takes about three seconds and it has what we call a, a momentary squeeze on it so that even after you push the button, it deflates 
most of the way. Sometimes if you have a bigger implant, you got to do it one more time. And even then, sometimes guys will just kind of squeeze the last bit of the fluid out, which is totally appropriate so that they'll be back to their flaccid state. So it's really that simple and it takes about that amount of time. So you can see the convenience. I'm going to pan back up here now. You can see the convenience to how you can do a penile prosthesis. You can see how discreet it is. And that, that model really is a, a, a real life uh, implantable prosthesis in a silicone mold. But it does look about like that in a man that's very difficult to tell they actually have an implant in place uh, when they're flaccid. So that is the demonstration. What we learned is injection therapies are safe, they're effective. The, the main issues with injection therapy is finding an appropriate dose, also being able to, to achieve an erection suitable for penetration and not going to the point where that erection doesn't go away naturally. And that's something called a priapism. That's where the, the blood flow doesn't leave when you want it to, and it can be uncomfortable and often will require an antidote administered in order for that erection to go away. So there, there's some drawbacks to the injection therapy. The penile implant, which is what we ended on, has been around for over 50 years, has excellent mechanical reliability, low but not zero infection rate. And if it's the right thing for you, you need to seek out a very well-trained, qualified prosthetic urologist that can be able to do that procedure for you. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.